Well, Gio, I'd like to share something with you. All right. Now, this is in Matthew chapter 20. Uh, see here, it's chapter 13. And going at verse 20, starting at verse uh, 24. Okay, and I want to kind of like give this to you so this way you'll, you'll get an understanding of things around you a little bit. And of course, something for you to always think about and consider. All right, verse 24. He presented another parable to them, saying, The kingdom of heaven may be, may be compared to a man who sowed good seed in his field. But while men were sleeping, his enemy came and sowed tares also among the wheat and went away. But when the wheat sprang up and bore grain, then the tares became evident also. And the slaves of the landowner came and said to him, Sir, did you not know good seed is in your did you not know did you not sow good seed in your field? How then does it have tares? And he said to them, An enemy has done this. And the slaves said to him, do you want us then to go and gather them up? And he said, No, lest while you are gathering up the tares, you may root up the wheat with them. Allow both to grow together into the harvest. And in the time of the harvest, I will say to the reapers, First gather up the tares and bind them in bundles to burn them up. But gather the wheat into my barn. Okay, I just wanted to, you know, to, uh, now, now some of you already know this, but for those who don't, here's a little FYI. Okay, now when it says, here it says, but while men were sleeping, his enemy came and sowed tares also among the wheat and went away. And well, you know how uh, in the Bible here, in, in the symbolisms, how that wheat represents saints of uh, God's children. Okay, now uh, tares were also known as darnel. Okay, and uh, darnel is a, a weed re resembling a wheat, and it looks like wheat, but it's not wheat. It just looks like it. Okay, just wanted to throw that in there to you. Okay. Now, verse 37. And he answered and said, The one who sows the good seed is the Son of Man, and the field is the world. And as for the good seed, these are the sons of the kingdom, and the tares, that's the darnel, are the sons of the evil one. And the enemy who sowed them is the devil. And the harvest is the end of the age, and the reapers are the angels. Okay. Now, what what did we what do we learn and gather from that? Well, I mean, you look in your church in the church world today. What do we have? <laughs> oh yeah, you pretty much guessed where that was going. I'm glad you observed that. Some probably didn't, but wow, you pretty well see this. Okay, it's the facts is. You got a lot of people that look like saints. They look godly. They go to church, but they're not wheat. They're darnell. They're tares. Okay. Now you think of the story, the parable, the application that that it, in which it was given, and look at it and think of it. Now you sit there and see what's going on around you, whether here on YouTube, at the church next door, or wherever, doesn't matter, all around, it's there. You got wheat, and you got tares, or darnel. You got those who are really wheat, and then you got those who just look like wheat. And it's a sad thing, too. But see, 
you always know the ones uh, easily, pretty much, I'll say pretty much easily, not always, but pretty much easily on YouTube because they do not follow the word. Some of them tell you to throw it out. Some of them tells you to chunk, get rid of your pastor. Don't have, you know, totally disregarding, disrespecting the Bible and scriptures, you know, because uh, they can't accept what the apostles wrote. They can't accept Jesus Christ and, 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 and Jesus' teaching and what Jesus, they can't, you know. But the thing, my point, whole point is, is you got people who will expose their own selves for usually, not in every case, but usually expose themselves for what they are. They're, they're not wheat. They're darnell. They're weed. And it was what? Planted there. By whom? Read the Bible. Okay? You go in there and Matthew and read that again. But see, a lot of people don't understand what's going on. Okay? But the thing is, is be alert and be aware. And now, the thing is, you got to obey the Word of God. Alright? The Bible is our road map. Okay? You follow the teachings therein. Because let me tell you, that's more of a holy teaching than what you'll ever get today. Because most of what you get today is just nothing but man-made traditions and opinions and thoughts and very little of it has anything to do with the Bible. Very little of it has anything to do with the teachings of Christ. And, and a lot of them even don't anymore even give altar calls. Oh, now it's more about oneself, one of their own prestige, and all this kind of stuff, and blah, 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 and, and how much money they make, of their, you know, blah, 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 this and this and that. Then on YouTube, it's about more on how many clicks I can get. I don't care if I only get two or three on my videos. I don't care if anyone likes me or hates me. What do I mean by that? Well, simple. Is, I don't want to be hated. No, no one does. But, I don't care when it comes between you and Jesus Christ, me obeying God and you not liking me for being obedient to Him, you know, and you don't like me on that grounds, or you don't like the way I look, I'm sorry, you know, I don't care. I'm not I'm here to do this to win a, a Cupid doll and, and a balloon and a little plush toy animal. I'm not here for none of that. I don't care for it. You know, I, I, I have one purpose, you know, and that's to witness to others about Jesus Christ and to help encourage my brothers and sisters in Christ. I don't care whether you hate me or dislike me or, 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 or what when it comes right down to it. Because you're either going to hate me, or you're not going to like me, or you're going to like me, or something. But it's, you know, but I'm not going to stop trying to serve Jesus Christ because you disagree with me. You know, I'm not here solely just to please people and kiss their their foot, and you know, and and, and give up the the word of God, and give up Jesus just to please everybody around. Now, yes, we're supposed to please our brothers, but we're not to be going as men pleasers. We're supposed to think of the welfare of our brothers and sisters. And that's what I'm trying to do with my videos, is think of the other's welfare. And as well as the person who doesn't know Christ, that they may come to know Him. Okay, that's my purpose. There are tares and there is those that are weak. Those who are Darnell, weeds, imitations, fakers. Those who are the members of the Wanabi tribe. Yeah. So, which one are you, wheat? Or are you a Darnell? 
All right. That's my whole few cents there. And my thing is, is, is to, for you to think, consider. And maybe it might be some help. I don't know. It is given to whom it is given. All right. And may God bless you all. And shalom. And ha-ho.